Howdy folks, welcome back to Grumpy Viking Tactical. I am your host, the Mighty Bjorn, and today for you, I'm gonna be doing the range testing, well actually, the testing in general for the CV Life gun rest bag. Now, a couple things here I'm gonna go over really quick. I'm gonna go over the, the base design here. Uh, it is a nylon bag, but I noticed when I did a disassembly during the one part of the video that the inside seemed to have been, I think is actually polyester. Also, this is filled with beads. This came filled with beads. Um, and I'm gonna talk more a bit about that in a little bit here and uh, go over some more about the testing, but also as a really quick disclaimer, a spokesperson actually had reached out to me about doing tests and a review on this product, and this is said review. Uh, this is going to be the full range review. I'm going to show how the bag works out at the range and give you my thoughts and everything else. That being said, when I discuss things with them, I told them that I'm going to be perfectly clear and honest with my audience about the bag, give my thoughts about it. There was no money exchanged. The only thing that was exchanged was said product. But anyway, folks, let's first take it back to my house. We'll do the waterproof testing that I did first, and then we'll take it, bring it back out here to the range and get to doing some range testing with some pew pews. All right, folks, so here we are. We're gonna do some waterproof testing here on this CV Life range bag, this, uh, th this prop bag, if you will. So I think probably the best way to start here is let's get the bag open. They really make it hard to access the zippers on this. That, that's actually one part I'm not thrilled about. All right, now since there's two bags here, we're gonna test both parts of the bag as a whole, to see how waterproof it is. So I'll put one on the inside of the green bag, which is the outer bag, and then get it to the inner bag here. Do a little bit of origami and shove that in there. All right. Now I'm sure the inner bag will pass the first test here. We got two tests going. All right, so roughly here's where the paper is. So let's take our handy dandy squirt bottle squirt bottle squirts just like the type of girls in my favorite videos <sighs> seems mostly waterproof the water is beating Give that a little bit of a wipe down here. Bite my hand off. Let's open up the bag and see if the paper's wet. Good old grumpy Viking tactical because we don't take anyone's word for anything around here. Waterproof? Ha! We'll put that to the test. Well, It seems like it survived the first test. So, I would say arguably that's pretty good to test it for per se rainwater. But let's get this bag as wet as Lisa Ann's bedroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that bag ain't waterproof. Or at least not that kind of waterproof. The 
See, you can't waterproof a zipper, folks. And that's where that all that water came from the inside. All right, let's check this out. I already know it failed this, but let's. We could argue, or it could be debated on how wet will this bag really get. All right, well that's soaked. The inner bag is soaked. Um, I can't find my origami. Hold on a second here. Did it soak all the way through? Oh, it soaked all the way through. The beads are wet. They're sticking together. They're stuck on the paper. You know what? <sighs> yeah, they're stuck on the paper. So, yeah, I mean, waterproof. <sighs> to a point. I would say this is a bit of an extreme, though, folks. But, yeah, waterproof is definitely an overstatement. I would say water resistant. But anyway, folks, let's get on back to the range and do some of that range testing now. All right, I think the first place to start here with the CV Life gun rest bag is, well, to use it as a pistol rest. I have my TSOS Raider here, chambered in 45 ACP. And the reason I picked this pistol is because this actually has the classic 1911 style lanyard loop here on the uh, mainspring housing. So let's give this a try. Now this is definitely gonna be awkward, but I'm actually over here at the rifle range, not down at the pistol range. I honestly think this would work better at the pistol range, but we will give it a shot nonetheless and see how it works. I did feel it move around a little bit, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it worked pretty good as a rest point. It definitely would have worked better if this table would actually be higher. But all right, let's give a rifle a shot. All right, folks. Now I got my Marlin 783. This is chambered in 22 Magnum. Uh, it's got a lot more shots I have loaded with it. I only have five loaded with it. But I want to try to see... How it will work as a rifle rest, I'm kind of skeptical because this bag is really small. Um, I think probably the best way to go is sitting it like that. And as you can see, it's not really sitting up straight. Let's try it this way. Oh, that's a little bit better. I have a round chambered first.
Still got one more in there. Okay, now the rifle is clear. All right, so you really got to get low to really use this. So honestly, you're going to need something to either raise this up or be able to get in a position where you can get real low to the table to actually use this bag as a forward rifle rest like I just did here. Let's check out something else. All right. So another thought I had for the bag was, what about an elbow rest? Usually when I fire an AR-15 or a rifle in general, I don't usually use it as a, anything as a barrel rest. Most of the time I'm holding my rifle like so. So honestly, for me, it might make a better elbow rest than a barrel rest. say it's a really good barrel rest all right folks another thing i saw that they advertised it could be used for is to place it under the stock so let's check that out now that being said it took me a few minutes and quite a bit of finagling to actually set this up with my bipod i had to make multiple adjustments to the bag and the bipod and the whole nine yards but let's give this a shot and see how it goes and this is my Winchester Model 70 Sporter. And I'm still, <laughs> as you can see, I'm still trying to make adjustments to both the bag and my rifle to make this work. So it's really, it's okay, but You know what? And that's what I think about that. Okay, so, so far with all the testing, what I've seen is waterproof. That's a bit of an older overstatement. I would argue water resistant. As a pistol rest bag, yeah, I would say it works pretty good for that. As a rifle rest bag, could be based on the situation, but it did work pretty good as a forward rifle rest bag. As a rest point for my elbow when using an AR-15 or other type of rifle, yeah, I would argue it worked pretty good for that as well. As a stock rest bag, it was just too much of a nuisance to really use. It, it Just the amount of time it would take to actually set this up. That being said though, I did fuss around with it a bit and look down the scope. It will work great for that if you got the patience to set it up. I just didn't have the patience to actually show you setting up how to do that. Because honestly, yeah, it's really fickle on that. It's not really good for that. Another thing I think is good about this bag is it is really small. It's really compact. Um, it, it's very lightweight because of the beads. So, so far with all the testing, I would say, yeah, it's a fairly good product. Let's do one more test. Yeet. Well, let's check the inner bag, but it looks like zipper stayed shut. Of course, it is a pain in the butt to get to the zipper. That's the other thing about this bag I've noticed. 
and actually pulling out this inner bag is also a nuisance and the inner bag stayed shut as well you know what for abuse short of throwing it at a brick wall I would say it's good enough now when it comes to the price tag of this bag that's really up to you but yeah you know what if you're looking for a really small gun rest bag I don't think it's a bad option honestly especially because it's tiny and lightweight anyway folks I'm gonna wrap this video up at that hopefully you all enjoyed it thank you very much for tuning in also really quickly to the patreons thank you all very much for your support it does help me out it's additional funding for the channel and things of that nature uh, helps with ammunition upgrades etc and uh, also everyone who likes comments and shares that really helps me out as a youtuber especially cucking the uh, the YouTube algorithm because apparently YouTube has a kink for that anyway folks once again thank you very much for tuning in and have yourself a wonderful day